by the hour as we get more uh, pictures and visuals and videos of what is left behind from this typhoon. There is an alarming new estimate about the number of people killed in the Philippines. A police chief says local government estimates indicate as many as 10,000 are feared dead in Lete province. AFP quotes the chief as saying he received that estimate from the provincial governor. The capital of Lete, Tacloban City, appears to be one of the worst hit areas. CNN correspondents on the ground are reporting extensive damage and rampant looting. 150 police officers have been sent into Tacloban to restore order. More than 48 hours after the storm struck, many areas remain without electricity. Phone lines are down. There's just so much destruction. So the true extent of damage is still not known in this region. The U.S. and U.N. have pledged financial and logistical assistance to the Philippines. So as we've been telling you, phone lines are down. Communications have been patchy at best in areas affected. In this situation, social media has proved crucial. We learn more about that from Samuel Burke. Social media gives us a sense of what's happening in communities where camera crews still haven't reached. But I actually want to take you to a tweet from as far away as possible. This photo is from a tweet from astronaut Karen Nyberg. She tweeted the picture on Saturday as she passed over Southeast Asia on board the International Space Station. Even in an orbit nearly 400 kilometers above the Earth, the storm's clouds still fill nearly the entire frame of the photograph, as you can see there. But local governments back on the ground in the Philippines, they're using social media as a tool of dissemination. In Koron, in western Philippines, the mayor's office has used their Facebook page to send out images for the world to see what's happening. You can see the devastation there, boats slammed up against each other, slammed up against walls, but also using social media as a tool to communicate with their citizens, letting them know where they can find aid and where rescue operations have set up. Twitter is even being used as part of the rescue operations. You might ask yourself, why would someone send out a tweet if they need to be rescued? But if phone lines are jammed and text messages aren't going through, one tweet that might reach hundreds of family members and friends who follow you on social media may not seem like such a bad idea. One rescue group in the Philippines has set up the hashtag RescuePH, hoping that people will use that hashtag to tweet out their location if they need to be rescued. But many in the Philippines and around the world have used that hashtag to send out their well wishes for the people there. That may makes the job even more difficult for these rescuers because now they have to sit through those tweets. But one tool that has proved very effective time and again is Google Person Finder. This tool is very simple to use. Either you click I'm looking for someone and leave information there or I have information about somebody and leave it there. The Philippines, of course, is a more than 80 percent Catholic nation and the Pope has taken to Twitter asking the world to join in his prayers for the victims there. Samuel Burke, CNN, New York. And you can also use our website if you want to help the people of the Philippines.